mud is coming out into the number four lane. Let's go to Dave Grasshoff, who is right there right now. Hi, Davey. Hi, T. This is just prior to the El Dorado Hills Boulevard exit in the eastbound direction. Uh, looks like it's come down the hillside there, some rock and debris kind of sticking out into the number one lane there. Now I see some emergency crews that are just ahead, so I don't know if any of this debris, any of these rocks or boulders hit uh, a car or anything, so I'm just gonna uh, move ahead here. You can see where it came down there. I'm gonna try to pan the camera a little bit as I'm driving along here. You can see just a big chunk of it, a big boulder just sitting right there. And I'm gonna drive on down now and uh, see, I saw an ambulance uh, go past me just a few minutes ago and there's quite a few emergency vehicles down here, so I'll can you continue along. Again, this is in the eastbound direction at El Dorado Hills Boulevard, and I don't know if you can see right there, you have uh, some emergency vehicles, and again, I don't know if it's related to that uh, mud and boulder slide or, or not, so try to hop out, get a few details uh, for you, but uh, traffic is definitely impacted. Eastbound direction, Highway 50 at El Dorado Hills Boulevard. Okay, T. and he's going to check out what's going on there, but on the log it says no hey, T. vehicles. T. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, T, are you still there? Yes. Okay, it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like a car is off the roadway. That's what it is. Uh, let me zoom in here. You can see there's a car down in the ditch down there. Uh -oh. It looks like they were able to get somebody out of a vehicle. I see. Uh, the fire department there looks like they have a person on a stretcher and the vehicle is down there. So that's what the emergency vehicles are about. So now you have the uh, the, the slight little mudslide there and then this accident all at El Dorado Hills Boulevard in the eastbound direction. T. All right, Dave, thank you very much for all of that. Again, that's affecting the right hand lane, the number four lane, eastbound 50, and then the emergency crew is just up ahead there. Marianne, back over to you. Thank you. Yeah, some news we're following out of the Cameron Park area this morning where a water is beginning to build at a mobile home park. Photographer Dave Grassoff is live at Cameron Park Drive there with the latest. Dave? Yeah, good morning, Marianne. This is actually Cameron Park Estates Mobile Home Park, and you can see all that rain that we've gotten over the last few days. This mobile home park right here taking the uh, brunt of it. I'm just going to walk you on down here. I actually just parked my vehicle right here. And you can see quite a bit of water in the roadway. See some people down here. Let's see if we can talk to them and get an idea exactly uh, how long this has been like this. Hi, how are you? What, what's your name, sir? Uh, Edward Neal. You okay being on live TV? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, just tell me tell me what you saw here. Or what, what's been uh, Probably about the last hour. We had, I mean, it was a downpour. And uh, next thing we know, we see people's trash cans and debris uh, going down the road. And so we didn't know if we was going to get evacuated here or not because the water was coming all the way up, up into the house here. And then water over there was flooding where it was bashing into the house. And you could see where the trash can where it washed it down. But that's how bad it was. Have you ever seen anything like this no, here at that? I had Hall? never, I had never in my life seen nothing like this ever. And uh, I didn't know what to do. I started waking everybody up a while ago, you know, tell them, hey, you know, we may have to get out of here. And uh, but I don't know. It was kind of, it's a scary situation. So we don't know how, how bad it's going to be, you yeah. know, if it, all these creeks and stuff overflowing. But um, so far it looked like it's going down. So that's, it's, go, it's gone, know. it's gone down a little bit. Oh yeah. It was all the way up over there to almost where the tree was right there. And, uh, and you can still see where it's coming down, but oh yeah, it was, it was like, looked like a lake out here earlier. Thank you very much for your time and giving us uh, that uh, first-hand account. Okay, Marianne, there you see it. I'll stick around here and try to talk to more people and see if everybody's okay in this area. But you can see quite a bit of water here running down the roadway in this mobile home park. Yeah. You can see this house right here has quite a bit of water right there. Going right Marianne? up to the stairs there. Dave Grassoff uh, coming across that up in Cameron Park today. And that's uh, Dave Grassoff right now out with some people with flooded conditions. Hey T, this is Cameron Park Estates Mobile Home Park. Uh, you can see all the runoff from uh, the storming weather that they've had is uh, just uh, wow. creating quite havoc at this mobile home park. This is the back portion. Lady just came out and talked to me. She's worried a little bit about the foundation of her mobile home and was worried she doesn't, you know, she's worried about this thing floating away because the water is really coming here on the other side. Let me just walk you up the driveway real quick here. You can see again, this is uh, getting up under these mobile homes. This is a, is usually a driveway for a car ride here. Wow. So quite a bit of uh, water obviously running down, T. All right. Thanks, Davey. Lisa now with the rest.